I think I said it before, guys, that I am in the wrong business. Now, I'm here on YouTube and Rumble and those kind of places, but um, I'm definitely in the wrong business if I actually want to get rich. Because I said it before that race hustling is the business to get in if you want to get rich. I mean, look at BLM. Look at Patrice Colors. Raised over $90 million. Got all that money. Didn't give it back to the community. And they bought a whole bunch of million dollar mansions, folks. A lot of them. I mean, the race grift is the way to go. So that actually brings us to... um. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Now, we know that Meghan Markle is a race hustler. All she sees is racism here, racism there, racism everywhere. And when they actually left the royal family, the race grip was on, folks. She actually started uh, trashing the royal family and Prince Harry, man, being abated that he is, just sitting back and taking it. I mean, my goodness. She... And Harry had made a whole bunch of money, man, doing the race griff. I mean, I find it to be very, very disrespectful to allege racism in the royal family. But yet you offer no examples whatsoever. See, this is the problem with race houses, folks. When they go out there and they preach racism here, racism there, they offer no proof. And of course, you know, companies, you know, they want to be woke. They're going to actually go out there and get race hustlers and pay them a whole bunch of money. And guess what you get in return? You get nothing. Now, in the case of um, Patrice Colors, they said, oh, we bought this house for content creation. How much content did they actually make in one of these million dollar houses? I believe like one, maybe two episodes. That was pretty much it. It's the same case with Harry and Meghan. They signed this deal with Spotify. And guess what? They really didn't deliver the goods. They had like a twenty five million dollar contract with Spotify. Why in the world would you actually give Harry and Meghan a twenty five million dollar contract? And guess what they got in return, folks? Like twelve episodes. That was it. I mean, Spotify, you got had right there. But let's go ahead and get into this. Look at this, guys. Spotify rips Harry and Meghan as lazy and effing grifters. That is actually coming from a Spotify executive because I guess they realize, hey, we're paying out all this money. But yet you guys aren't delivering the goods. Where is all the content that you're supposed to be delivering? I mean, it's pretty sad, guys, because their company, their production company, whatever they have actually uses the name of their son. It's called a uh, archwell or something like that. Pretty pathetic, guys, because all it is is a race griff with Meghan Markle. Now, make no mistake about it, guys. Meghan Markle is the one that is actually wearing the pants in this family. It ain't Prince Harry. Prince Harry, man, he's just taking it. Prince Harry's bending over and Meghan Markle is taking him from behind. You know what I'm you, you guys know what I'm getting at. But let's look at some of this, guys. Podcaster and Spotify executive Bill Simmons started things off on his own podcast saying the effing grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched with them. <laughs> this is funny, man, because uh, Bill Simmons, he's a sports guy. And uh, actually, he started the ringer and he sold it to Spotify, but he's still an executive over there at Spotify. Don't worry, we got the audio. So I'm actually going to let you guys um uh, listen to that. OK, but look at this right here. It says maybe Spotify and this is on Breitbart should overpay me to be an executive because I could have told them all that before the company signed a twenty five million dollar contract with this despicable duo of crybaby family backstabbers. Honestly, only an overpaid Spotify executive or overpaid Netflix executive or Oprah Winfrey could be fooled by these two mercenary monsters. Man, Breitbart's going after um, Harry and Meghan here. All they have to sell is what will harm their own family. Yeah, when you start trashing your own family out there like that in public for money, that says a lot about you. That is pretty despicable, guys. Now, I don't bring my family life on here, but if my family and I weren't really getting along, guess what? 
I'm not actually going to go here on YouTube or Rumble or wherever and start trashing them in the public. But that is exactly what Harry and Meghan have done. They didn't actually keep their private life private. They actually used that private life to grift and make millions of dollars. It's really, really pathetic, guys. It is. But it wasn't just Bill Simmons. It was actually other people over there as well. Look at this. According to the New York Post, one Spotify executive described the Harry Meg as lazy. Quote, Megan and Harry are the outlier on all of this. I think they could have come off as a bit lazy and difficult, he said. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. And then the author, author here of this um, article on Breitbart says it's entitled. Yeah, I believe that they actually do feel like they are entitled. It goes on here, it says Spotify signs a twenty five million dollar contract with these two losers to deliver podcast content. And all they get in return is one 12 episode show where Megan sits around when insanely rich and privileged women to whine about stereotypes and some sort of holiday special. And the thing is, didn't they know that they would actually get into this? I mean, let's be real. When Megan Markle. Is on the show. And where was Prince Harry in all this? I mean, was he ever on one of these shows? I don't know. I never actually um, listened to the show. Honestly, I don't know anybody that actually listened to the show. Maybe it was uh, just some deranged leftist out there that actually listened to all this, listening to these fools. Wasn't me. I was never going to listen to them. I mean, guys, these two grifters all the time. They complain about everything. But look, they spend two million dollars a year on security. Guys, do you know what I could actually do with two million dollars a year? Man, ridiculous. But let's go ahead and listen in to what um, Bill Simmons had to say about Harry and Meghan. Now, I do believe that uh, Bill Simmons is actually um, in charge of monetization over there at Spotify. Let's listen to this. I, I have, I'm going to pose this question to you. You you do a lot of business deals, a lot of negotiations. I do. Well, let, let's just. I pretend. wish I had been involved in the Megan and Harry leave Spotify negotiation. <laughs> the fucking grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched with them. Yeah. We, um, I got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try to help him with a podcast idea. Do it. It's one of my best stories. Dude, we, we, there hasn't been a Drunk let's Simmons just, podcast. Let's both get drunk, drunk and then it'll just be drunk. Save that idea. <laughs> it'll be really the easy. Fucking, the grifters. Here's my, my business. So it sounds like Bill Simmons actually talked to Harry. And I guess he saw right through them at the time. Maybe it wasn't his call to actually... um. You know, to sign them to this deal. I don't know. But man, the people at Spotify should have known that this was going to happen. Why is it that these companies, guys, why is it that they give all this money? They put all this money into wokeness and they never get a return on their investment. I mean, look at Disney. Disney is putting out a whole bunch of woke content over there in the movie theaters. And guess what? They're losing money left and right. Spotify putting money out there to uh, Harry and Meghan are losing money. That's all they're doing. Now, I do believe that um, they actually haven't paid out all that $25 million. I believe it was actually kind of, I guess you could say prorated. Let's go back over here and look and see. I do believe that it was kind of prorated right here. I could have swore that I actually saw something where it actually said that um, they weren't going to actually get all of that 25 million because um, I guess because of the amount of content. But I'm pretty sure that they still paid out a pretty penny. Um, I can't actually find it right here. So it's kind of irrelevant right there. But uh, you guys get the point. Man, Harry and Meghan dropped by Spotify. What's going to happen next? What is their next move, guys? What is the next move for? Harry and Meghan, because, you know, it's just going to be another griff. It has to be another griff. What talents do Harry and Meghan actually do have? Grifting, race hustling. That's pretty much it. I mean, Harry came from money. 
I mean, when his mother passed away, unfortunately, I believe um, he was left something like um, $10 million between him and his um, brother. And when he was actually cut off from um, his father because um, he left the royal family, guess what? He made a whole bunch of money really, really fast. I mean, they were extremely privileged because when they actually got married, Queen Elizabeth actually gave them their home. Who actually gives who actually gives people homes for getting married? Not too many people I know. But according to them, you know, they're victims, you know, by the way, they think they're victims when they got a mansion. It's called a cottage, but it's really a palace, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Professional victims, man. So they leave the royal family, then automatically, boom, they get all these deals. The average person doesn't, doesn't get that. That's probably a whole bunch of people that, that would actually trade what they have for what Harry and Meghan have. I mean, the victimhood thing, the victimhood grip, man, it needs to end, man. It needs to end. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.